Today we do something really fun. So this, uh, this is I just discovered uh, that we can use ChatGPT 4.0 to um, value our real estate. So if you own your own real estate or if you want to buy a house or something, yeah, maybe a beautiful lake house like this image proposed by Midjourney, <laughs> um, or maybe um, maybe this beautiful house. <laughs> so if you want to own your own house, if you uh, or if you work in real estate, uh, if you want to buy and sell and invest in real estate, then you need to value real estate. I mean, you need to be able to take something like this, right? A real uh, real estate, um, like this is, this is now a German real estate site called Immobilien Scout. You need to take this specific object, ignore the price for a moment and find your own valuation. So just giving the uh, just 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 using the raw data without the price data that is proposed here without getting anchored by the price proposed by the real estate agents you need to um, do your own valuation your own estimation of the price and then maybe if you come to a price that is lower than the one proposed here then you you chances are you found a good deal if if your suggested price or your own valuation of the of the object is higher uh, is is uh, yeah. If if your if your valuation is lower and uh, than the than the real price, then obviously you shouldn't do it. Okay. And in this video, we will learn how to use ChatGPT for all for this kind of analysis. So if you ever think about uh, buying real estate, then this video is definitely for you. But before we get started, I first want to show you my song that I created for this video specifically. <laughs> I found it fun. I like this 19s rap battle. Check it out. This is really impressive. Yeah, you can see the text here. Okay, so let's get started. How do we use ChatGPT to value real estate? So first of all, we need to make sure that ChatGPT itself isn't anchored, right? So what you what you would do, like the easiest thing, I have not I have not uh, done an in-depth analysis, but I checked it out for one two properties and I found that the valuation are pretty good, and then I just switched on the recording. I wanted to show you this. Okay, so let's uh, maybe zoom a bit out. You just take the text, right? Um, I tested it. You just take everything from here, like everything that you can get, all the information you can get for a certain object or property. Um, you just put e get everything and put it into a blank piece of paper. For example, this one is in Munich and uh, I just put it everything into a text file and I removed all price data, right? I mean, this is German now, but yeah, you, I just removed all price data. Otherwise, I left everything intact, okay? So we don't have any price data here. Okay, now let's take this whole text with price data removed, the description that you can find on any website. For instance, let's check out this object here. ChatGPT doesn't know the cost of the, the price of this object, right? It is completely transparent now. So if you if you check out the images, it's a beautiful flat, right? It, I mean, it's uh, yeah, it's a beautiful flat in Munich. Munich is probably the most expensive location in uh, Germany. 
so uh, it's it will be an um, expensive and it's like a high-end luxury luxury style of flat I mean depending on your standards obviously but um, yeah it's I think it should be like multi-million I don't I'm not sure I'm not an expert right but I think like yeah at least 1 million so here we have the the price is 1.2 million we have like only 68 square meters so it's pretty small too and you can see that, that in Munich the price to buy such a small flat would be around um, like 18k per square meter at least that's what they suggest so let's let's see what ChatGPT thinks about this flat okay So I, uh, I tell it, I give you the description of a real estate offer I found online. Can you do the valuation for me? Right. So let's you 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 just like very loosely unstru in an unstructured way feed it all the information you can get for a certain object. The more the better. And now I just fed it uh, like unst unstructured text information. Right. So let's first of all let's see how it does with this unstructured text information um, so you see it extracts all the property details so even if you for instance want to invest in a German real estate and you don't you're, you don't know any German then you could still use a German description here put it in and uh, ChatGPT will extract the relevant um, stats statistics for valuation and now it finds the financial details the mo monthly it even has the monthly house fees it uh, there's, it, it, it figures out that there's no buyer commission and now it does a comparative market analysis. So it's different. It already knows how to value real estate, right? It doesn't do a discounted cash flow an analysis or anything. It just does like the comparative analysis. That's usually how you value real estate. So it gives me a lower estimate and an upper estimate. It takes the square meters and multiplies it with the price per square meter right so and it, it it thinks it's like a 12 to 15k per square meter and it already knows it's like a high quality renovation in prime location the property might be valued closer to the upper range so it would be valued like roughly 1 million right which is i think it's already great i mean just 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 because they um ask us to pay 1.2 million doesn't mean it's worth it right so um so this definitely makes sense. The valuation definitely makes sense to like it's orders of magnitude correct, right? It was also my intuition like a million or so. Uh, now they want 1.2 million. So maybe it's a bit more on the expensive side. So you have some additional information. But I like what I already found um, interesting is that it is orders of magnitude correct. It's probably better than most people. It's already better like than 95% of people. But all, like those people would buy real estate in their life this will be the most expensive purchase of of like normal people like uh say you and me right uh who are not real estate experts um those people would still buy real estate and you usually they couldn't access the fi the financial wisdom or the wisdom of an expert um value of a valuation expert in real estate so now they can you just put in all the information you have about an object removing the price data to get an independent view of an independent expert which is already i mean such a great value proposition but now check out this now i can simply copy the image for instance i can also add some images i also have some images please up adjust your valuation accordingly so let's see what it does so here I put in one image here, maybe what else? This one looks beautiful, right? Maybe it can extract some some interesting information. It could also extract red flags, right? Now this looks, looks this looks great, the bath, bathroom. Okay, so now I've added uh, three images. Let's see. So you see the upper valuation was like one one million, right? It was proposing like more more in the direction one million, but let's see what it does now. Okay, it, it actually finds it actually figures out that we we have the additional visual insights. The living area is bright, spacious, modern design with natural light and so on, right? Open pla plan layout, so it figures out the layout, enhancing the sense of space and light. So it's really great in this image understanding. Um, I think that's a very useful application 
that creates so much value, real world value, um, that that I mean, you would have to pay tens of thousands or so, right, to to get this kind of uh, value. And if you are, if you have to do anything with with real estate, this is like huge value. So please give me a like and subscribe to the channel. Recently, I did another video on ChatGPT for using using it for stock analysis. It got like fifty five thousand uh, views, so it, it was quite successful from in, in my point of view uh, so if you are interested in this video then also subscribe to the channel and uh, I will give a link in the description below maybe it will propose a video um, to you after that uh, so okay that's but we will have some more example let's dive into some more example and first of all we want to see the new estimated valuation range okay so it adjusted it upward a bit right because of the uh, the new property. So now we have almost like the upper range would be 1.1 million and it's very already very close to the market price, right? To the suggested market price. And this is really impressive uh, because like it's it's less than 10% away from the proposed market price now, which is, I mean, such such an impressive skill, right? To have out of the box. It's not optimized for real estate valuation or anything. You can use it out of the box. But let's have another one in Berlin, right? The, like the German uh, capital. Um, let's let's use the same text. We have we have uh, this flat. Maybe let's let's look at, at a few pictures here. You see, it's actually is it a house? Yeah, I think it's a house. So it's a city house, right? So it's pretty expensive, right? The whole like if you if you have a if you want to buy a house in Berlin, I mean you have to pay up for it, right? It's it's pretty expensive. It's also a big house, a uh, luxury house. Like it, it's the cost is roughly four million. Let's see if ChatGPT can figure it out. Good. So I have prepared prepared like another this this the same thing. So we so we get to uh, Berlin. We have just copy pasted all the information from the website I just showed you and removed all pricing information, right? So there's no price information here, nothing. So it ha doesn't have any context in terms of what what the suggested price is by the real estate agent. I removed all of it. And um, now let's ask it to do it again. Now value my... Uh, this object and it even figures out like the location and everything right it's really i, I think it's fantastic it's a fantastic skill set okay it figures out the property details the location in berlin mitte uh, it figures out that it's a whole house with with a terra ter terraced that is terraced it figures out the living space like 400 square meters pretty large um number of bathrooms floors when it is built the conditions uh, the quality of equipment and it uses all this information like a real estate developer or real estate valuation expert would use and figures out the price range uh, would be between 8 and 12k per square meter and the estimated value would be between 3 and 5 million okay so we have between 3 and 5 million 3.5 and 5.3 million so let's look again at the at the price it nailed it right it completely nailed it <laughs> so this is just so impressive now let's do the same with maybe you could argue okay it has a lot of information about berlin and stuff maybe if we use like a very like b location kind of real estate in somewhere in the black forest um, this one would be very cheap, right? It's like uh, comparatively cheap, 595,000. And uh, I I did the same. I extracted all the information. So I just used copy, pasted, copied everything here, pasted it into the text file, removed the price information. And um, now the same for this object. You don't need to do anything. You need, don't need to understand anything. It's so such an impre impressive uh, skill set and capabilities of the of the new model. Um, okay, so it figures out it's a bungalow with two bathrooms, six rooms, energy efficiency, which is important these days. Um, so and it, and it proposes that the the price per square meter is like between. 3,000 and 4,500. So it gives me again a lower estimate and upper estimate. Lower estimate is 498k. Upper estimate is 747k. Let's look. 
595. Again, it nailed it. Again, ChatGPT nailed it. So it's like a fairly valued property. Uh, you could adjust it up or down, but uh, it's probably very fairly valued. So, uh, so I think this tool is fantastic. I have not seen anybody else using ChatGPT 4.0 for real estate valuation like this. Um, it's super simple, but extremely powerful. It can disrupt the whole industry of real estate valuation experts. If I had a real estate uh, company, I don't invest in real estate. I only invest in disruptive innovation stocks and uh, um, assets. Uh, but if I had a real estate uh, agency or something, I would use this. I would be all over this tool. So if you want to um, be on the right side of change amongst rapid disruption, then join our channel, subscribe to the Finkster YouTube channel. Just give me a like and subscribe to this video. You can see it. these these are all Finkster videos. We have we uh, in these videos we address all the topics like. Um, relevant to AI, to investment in, in AI. It is not investment advice, uh, but we like I try to give the background information that you need to know to, to, uh, to stay on the right side of change. For instance, my latest video, I found, I think it's, so I got positive feedback, is about NVIDIA and the impact of the new 1.58 bit LLM paper that came just that just came out and um yeah what this how this paper impact impacts nvidia and so i think like these kind of videos uh, are really important uh, for us to stay relevant uh, in in the fast uh, fast changing times we are all living through it's it's a wonderful time it's exciting we we are in it together we we go through these times together and there's always something new to discover always something uh, new to to disrupt. It's uh, I I think it's really exciting. I I love being alive at this point in time. I would love to see the new technologies, and, and I'm grateful every day for for you, for the listener, for you giving giving me your time and attention. And I'm grateful for being able to do this job to dive into disruptive innovation. So thanks a lot for watching this video. If you want to learn more, then check out the academy.fingster.com as well. This is where you can get a formal education it's like a university but cheaper <laughs> and private of Finkster, right so this is like uh, a university where i hire practitioners and expert in the field ai engineers for instance to give you courses how to use hugging face for instance how to use how to create multi-agent teams and systems to to re to to like join the disruptors rather than being disrupted by other people uh, and this gives you the the tools it's like a university where you can study the disruptive technologies of our times um, uh, and if you join the, the university you get access to all courses like it's the all you can learn model and uh, i think again the value proposition is much better than this of a uh, traditional university you need to spend less time you still get the certificates you can use in uh, to apply for jobs and um, and uh, freelancing gigs for instance and uh, but you can also get the, get the tools to maybe create your own company your own side business to disrupt somebody else to create more value in the world thanks for watching again give me like subscribe and see you in the next video bye